Hey everybody, Phil Kerner here with another video tip of the week. And uh, what do you think when you see a picture of this? This is a reamer, of course. And the thing that goes through most people's minds when they see a reamer is a reamer produces accurate holes. A, cute, a few things about reamers, of course, uh, they come in standard sizes, uh, English sizes, and they always come plus uh, one thousandths, minus one thousandths, and on size. So that's a typical reamer set. Uh, one thousandths undersize, of course, will make your hole a press fit for a Dell pin. Uh, on size will be kind of a tap fit, and uh, oversize will be a slip fit. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Now, the big thing I want to teach you today is just because a reamer produces an accurate hole uh, size does not mean it's going to put the hole exactly where it's supposed to go. So when you have a tight tolerance, you've got to get a hole exactly uh, within a uh, thousandth, a half a thousandth of uh, where it needs to be. Just drilling a hole and reaming it does not do that. A drill just does not put a hole where it's supposed to be, and all a reamer is going to do is size out that hole and follow the drilled hole that might be off a little bit. So I'm going to show you a little neat tip on how to do that, how to put your holes in the right position correctly. So what we're going to do is take a very basic tool uh, that every uh, shop has, and that's an end mill, and I prefer to use a carbon end mill, but uh, on our shops it's almost all we use anymore is carbon end mills. And I run them through the hole uh, after drilling it. And so after you drill the standard a ream hole, at least in, in English, is um, 64th undersize for a reamer. So if you're, uh, you're 64th under, then I run an end mill through the hole. And I call it a reamer if you're running a CNC machine. Go right over the position and run that end mill straight down as if it was a drill. And, uh, what it's going to do is position the hole correctly. Now, the good news if you choose to use a carbide uh, reamer, or I'm sorry, end mill, is that they're always a few thousandths undersized. Carbide end mills are usually never on size or oversized at all. They're always a few thousandths under. So what I do is drill the hole, run the end mill through the hole, and then run the reamer through to size it correctly. Now, don't panic if you have to ream a hole two inches deep and your end mill only has uh, an inch of flute on it. If you, as long as you can get that end mill down into that stock about an inch, even on three quarters of an inch, that will get the hole position right and the reamer will follow the hole from that point out. So just get yourself a starter hole. So what I'm going to do is show you the other day I, I actually did this process on a fixture I was building and you can see how it looks live. So here we are on the Mazak VTC20 and what we're doing right now is just drilling uh, a hole 164th under a half an inch. That's for a half inch dowel pin so I'm just drilling the hole out and uh, big drill there huh? There's bullet running. So we're going to drill that hole right through the plate. And then on the next clip, what we're going to see is the end mill. And to uh, make things easier for the video, I shut the coolant off and put some uh, oil in that hole. So it's not dry. Don't do that dry. So uh, there goes the carbide end mill. And what it's doing is positioning that hole because it's cutting. It's not following anything. It's putting that hole where it needs to be. And then finally, uh, what we're going to do is run the half inch reamer through it again. I've shut the coolant off. I've got the doors open. I am not the OSHA pinup boy I should be. But again, there's oil in that hole and it is being reamed out to the correct size. So I hope this helps you how to put a hole into the correct position accurately every time.